Hey everyone, it's great to see you. I had a delivery from Mr. Maple today. I am so excited. I believe there are three different conifers in here. So today I started clearing out some of the annuals, getting our bags in a pot and a pot ready for what they'll look like in the winter. And some of these adorable little conifers will live in those planters. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so Mr. Maple, I always love how they send everything that tells you exactly where to open everything because they've been through transit here, so you want to keep things as safe as you can. Okay, so first, let's start over here with green penguin. Now, green penguin is really well known for its name because who wouldn't love a little conifer called green penguin? It's going to get to be about four feet tall by two feet wide and it has sort of that penguin shape to it. Um, I had ordered one of these before and unfortunately I forgot to water it and then it went in the garden and then it got overwatered. So being green, my first green penguin is still alive but it looks a little sad. So when I saw Green Penguin was available again, this is one that I really do want in the garden. Now, all three of these conifers are hardy down to zone three, which is what I look for, because if I'm going to put them in a planter, which I am planning on, they have to be that two zones below where we live for plants in the ground. And we are a zone, 7a slash 6b so if i know that they are hardy down to zone three i can safely keep this in a pot and that makes me very very happy about that and i love the you know it really has that traditional bright green look to it which is just so beautiful so that's green penguin would you like to take a look at that yeah it's a dwarf scots pine so i tend to go with the dwarf conifers because four feet tall i don't have a big garden that's going to be perfect especially in a planter okay let's take a look at this next adorable little guy and this one you will recognize from before also because i purchased it with my first green penguin this is sea urchin and sea urchin is just adorable to me it literally looks like a sea urchin. It has this really pretty bluish green color. It's only going to get to be two to three feet wide and it makes a nice globe shape. Two to three feet in about 10 years. So once again, a real slow grower. Sea urchin, my first try at sea urchin did not make it because I also had not watered it. Then I tried overwatering it. It just, it was a very, very sad end to the first sea urchin, but I want a sea urchin. So we're going to see if I can keep this one alive. Remember, give yourself some grace. All gardeners have things that don't make it in their garden. We have a, a moment there. Um, and this particular one is a dwarf white pine. So here we have the dwarf Scots pine. This is a dwarf white pine but won't they look really cute? Are you trying to eat that? Oh, I'm sorry, you can come back. I don't recommend eating it though. <laughs> okay, and then in here, this is something brand new to me. It's going to be the first conifer that I have purchased that's on a standard. Okay, let me move the box over here. There we go. So you can tell this is a high graft. It has about a foot here before the little conifer is grafted on the top. And this is called blue pearl because it is this blue green color and it gets to be very round. It keeps that globe look to it. It's a miniature Colorado Bruce, blue spruce, miniature Colorado blue spruce. And um, it's also known as a fat Albert witch's broom. So fat Albert is a very um, popular 
other small conifer. And this grew as a witcher's broom. And I think this is so unique because what you're gonna have is, we are gonna have this graft here and then this little globe shape on the top. And in 10 years, this is only going to get to be about a foot around. So this is even slower growing than these guys. But what a neat piece to have either planted in the ground or in a planter. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna start this in a planter too. And then I can put, you know, taller flowers that eventually grow up on it in the summer, which sounds like it would look really, really good. This is a zones three to seven. So it actually doesn't like it too hot. It's hard to believe. My zone 7A slash 6B, if zone seven is as high as it would like temperature wise and hardy down to zone three again. So that is just such a unique little conifer. And I love how you could like cluster these together. This one will peek out over the top. And I think that this is going to be great to get these planted up. And this time I'm gonna make sure I keep a close eye on them. So sea urchin and green penguin will make it. <laughs> So thank you, Mr. Maple, for sending some really unique plants here, for offering them to us online. It's always so much fun just to keep an eye on their website and on their YouTube channel um, because they have you know, their releases that they put out on Tuesdays and Thursdays on their YouTube channel. You can sort of get a little preview of what's coming. And I love to find these conifers that are going to stay really small, but I can put in my garden. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.